Hello to all students. Today in this video, we are going to discuss vegetative structure of an alga which is known as chera. Chera is a freshwater alga which is usually found in freshwater ponds, streams and lakes. So first of all, uh, I am going to discuss the general plant body of chera. The plant body of chera is thalloid. And as you know that thalloid plant body it consists of thallus and thallus is a such plant body which is not differentiated into root, stem and leaves and it do not have vascular tissues. All the algae and fungi their plant bodies are thalloid. So this is one of the alga which is found in fresh water which is known as chera. Chera usually grows in the uh, water sub, submerged mostly in the water and sometimes can grow in the muddy soil also. It has uh, rhizoids which are root like structure uh, which penetrate in the mud and soil which helps in the absorption of water and minerals from the soil. From there it uh, arises a stem like structure which is not a true stem because it does not contain a vascular bundle xylem or phloem in it. So the erect uh, stem grows outward to in the water and uh, upright the plant. This uh, stem uh, uh, produces two types of branches in this plant. One of the uh, one of the branch is uh, un with unlimited growth and the second branch is with limited growth. So this branch which is the main branch of the plant al alga this is a shoot of limited growth sorry this is the shoot of unlimited growth and one of this branch also is a shoot of unlimited growth because they can increase uh, in the length unlimitedly while the branches are right over here right over here and right over here and these these branches are of limited growth because uh, after uh, growing up to a certain length they increase their they, they stop their growth so that these branches are uh, with limited growth on the stem or on the main plant body you can see nodes and internodes successively right over here there is a node there is a node 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 at the point of node usually there is a whole of branches uh, which grows uh, in a circle and between these two nodes there is a distance which is known as usually internode at the base of node we can also see some scale like leaves which are known as stipulode which are just like stipules of angiosperms. Uh, these plants uh, usually uh, uh, submerged in water and usually they are coated with uh, calcium carbonate crystals on all of their body surface. That is why these plants usually known as stone words. So I have taken a small uh, piece of stem from right over here and uh, show the detailed structure of this cell. This is a main stem which is consist of a longitudinal uh, cells. Uh, which contain uh, uh, cytoplasm and uh, the structure. So I have uh, taken out one cell from this diagram and showed you right over here. This is the uh, major vegetative cell of the plant body. It is consists of a cell wall which is outermost protective layer. Uh, inside the cell wall there is another membrane which is known as plasma membrane. In the center in the blue diagram you can see the vacuole vacuole uh, usually contains sap and uh, some inclusions as you can see in the red color and uh, the membrane of the vacuole is usually known as tonoplast as you know that between the plasma membrane and the tonoplast there is a fluid as you can see in the green diagram this is a cytoplasm which contain uh, organelles usually nucleus which are usually multinucleate cells and also contain chloroplast which contain uh, photosynthetic pigments like xanthophyll, chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B which help in the process of photosynthesis. So they also contain uh, some uh, mitochondria and other organelles which are required for their proper function. So this is the main structure of a cell. So when these cells combine they form a main branch of the plant which is known as a stem. This stem at the point of nodes contains some leaf like structures which are known as laterals and between these laterals some fructification uh, uh, grow which are known as female fructification and 
मेल फ्रूटिफिकेशन फ्रूटिफिकेशन इज यूजली ए स्ट्रक्चर विच प्रोड्यूस फ्रूट और स्पोर्स सो इन दिस केस दीज स्ट्रक्चर आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस स्पोर्स सो दैट इज वाई दीज आर नॉन एट फ्रूटिफिकेशन सो द ब्लू कलर फ्रूटिफिकेशन इज यूजली फीमेल इट इज नॉन एज न्यूक्लियोल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इट स्ट्रक्चर इन डिटेल आफ्टर कपल ऑफ मिनट्स एंड दिस इज ए मेल फ्रूटिफिकेशन विच इज नॉन एज ग्लोब्यूल सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द वेजिटेटिव स्ट्रक्चर और प्लांट बॉडी ऑफ एल्गा चेरा नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एक्सक्यूज मी वी आर डी गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिप्रोडक्टिव स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ रिप्रोडक्टिव फ्रूटिफिकेशन विच आर ग्लोब्यूल एंड न्यूक्यूल सो फॉर दैट पर्पज आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ डायग्राम फॉर यू सो आई हैव टेकन आउट ग्लोब्यूल विच इज ए मेल फ्रूटिफिकेशन राइट ओवर हेयर सो एज यू कैन सी इन दिस डायग्राम दिस इज अ मेल फ्रूटिफिकेशन विच हैज बिन एन लार्ज मैनी टाइम्स टू सी इन डिटेल द रिप्रोडक्शन यूजली इज ओ गैमस इन चेरा एग इज लार्जर वाइल स्पॉन्स आर स्मॉलर एंड एट सम ब्रांचेस राइट ओवर हेयर इज एज यू कैन सी इन दिस प्लांट सम ब्रांचेस डू नॉट कंटेन रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन वाइल दिस ब्रांच दिस ब्रांच एंड दिस ब्रांचेस यूजली दे कंटेन मेल एंड फीमेल फ्रूटिफिकेशन सो आई हैव टेकन आउट वन मेल फ्रूटिफिकेशन राइट ओवर हेयर दिस फ्रूटिफिकेशन विच इज नॉन एज ग्लोब्यूल प्रोड्यूस ऑन द ब्रांच ऑफ चेरा दे आर अटैच विद द ब्रांच विद हेल्प ऑफ ए पेडिसल पेडिसल एन लार्जिस एंड गोज इन टू द सेंटर एंड एन द सेंटर यू कैन सी सम गर्डल लाइक and rod like structures which are in the blue color right over here right over here this and this these structures are known as manubrium which uh, arise from center and go towards the boundary at the boundary you can see the layer of cells which is usually known as shield cell so these are all shield cells which protect the whole structure whole globule so these manubrium start from shield cell and terminate at the center of the globule and uh, where all the manubrium meet there are some uh, round structures as you can see in the blue color these are known as primary capitula or primary capitulum from these primary cap capitulum you can see in the red circles these are secondary capitula or secondary capitulum and from there tertiary capitula also uh, arise from a secondary capitula usually a large filaments th thin filaments thread like filaments produce or arises which are known as spermatogenous filaments spermatogenous filament are those filaments which produces antherozoids which are male reproductive gametes of this alga so i have taken a small piece of this filament right over here show, to show the detail structure these uh, contain cells Uh, septate cells which are going to produce antherozoids in it so when antherozoids are produced in large amount in the globule then when the structure become mature a hole is produced on the top of the uh, globule and sperms are released to uh, for the purpose of reproduction now let's uh, discuss uh, uh, female fructification female fructification in this diagram in this stem like structure Uh, right over here this is a nucleus so i have taken out this diagram right over here to show the structures in detail and uh, this uh, is called nucleus this is usually female fructification it is also produced on the branches of chera which is attached to the branch with the help of a pedicel cell which contain nucleus and from pedicel cell in arises shield cells which uh, protect the whole structure of nucleus on the top of the nucleus there are group of cells uh, which form a structure which is known as corona which is which is just like a crown so that is why we call it corona from here uh, a, a pore is produced a hole is produced through which uh, antherozoids can enter into the nucleus for the purpose of fertilization and this is called receptive spot from where antherozoid are going to penetrate into this structure in the center you can see nucleus of this uh, female fructification and around the nucleus there is a tissue which protects the and oosphere and these are steroid cells which are going to help in the process of uh, fertilization and that is all for today so in the next uh, upcoming uh, lectures we are going to discuss 
life cycle and complete uh, reproduction of uh, the chara which is going to be asexual and sexual reproduction and uh, i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye